Hey flowers, welcome back to Fritz Garden, a place where we plant seeds with self-love, shower each other with positive vibes, and grow to our fullest potential. Today I'm going to show you how I create my very own business tags using my Cricut Explore Air 2. This is what they look like. Okay, so the reason that I thought about creating business tags with my Cricut is because I was buying tags from Michaels and then writing it on with my Cricut and I know that my Cricut could cut. So I did some research and figured out how I can save money by creating my own tag. Before we get into the video on how I do it, I'm just going to go into the materials that we'll need to be able to do it. So first things first, in your Cricut, you're going to need your sharp cutter which comes with the Cricut and it's going to go into slot B. Make sure it goes all the way down and you want to secure that in there. The second tool that we'll need is the pen. So you can get different pens. A black one comes with the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and that's all I'm using for now. I'm going to take the cap off and stick it in and make sure I push it all the way down until you hear like two clicks. Now that that's in there, those are the only two tools that I'll need to put in my Cricut. Other tools are our Cricut cutting mat and cardstock. I got parchment paper cardstock from Amazon and I can link it in the description box below. However, um, I cannot wait to be able to go back into stores and be able to touch and feel and choose the colors that I want. Before I had this more of a white cardstock and this came from Michaels. Wow. Before we get into our Cricut, you know I like to show you what I do on the computer first. So come on with me and let me show you what's on the screen. Okay, so I have an example of what we're going to make here so you can see it come to life as we do it. I'm going to start by clicking on the shapes and selecting a heart because that's the shape I want for my tag. I go ahead and make the color, um, I make it the size that I want and then I make the color white so it's easier to see. I'm going to go back into the shape section and choose a circle. And I want that to be a cutout where I can put the string through um, the tag and tie it to the product. I line it up with the line in the middle just to make sure everything's centered. So I put the center of the heart on the line and the center of the circle. You'll see me adjust to the line as well. Now I'm going to go in and add font. And um, the special part with the font here is you're going to see me go over to the filter and filter it to writing. If you don't do that, the writing kind of comes out as bubble letters, so you want to make sure you're choosing font that's suitable for writing. So once I do that, I kind of adjust and play with the different fonts that exist that are specific to writing. And I kind of, I already know the ones that I'm going to use because I've created this before. Now I'm going to highlight the entire project. I'm going to group it and attach it. So that it stays together, and then I'm going to go ahead and start the project. Okay, now that we've done everything on the computer, it is time to use our materials to make our project come to life. So I'm going to start with one piece of cardstock, and I'm going to place it on my Cricut mat. Like so. I'm going to put it on in. I'm going to make sure that my setting is turned to cardstock. I'm going to turn it to light cardstock because this is a, a lighter feel. This one that I used before was a thicker cardstock, which I like more for tags. So when you're buying online or on Amazon or in the store, go for the, the real cardstock, the stockier one. Okay. On your screen, you'll see that it should have two tools lit up. It should say that you're going to need your midnight pen and clamp A. This is clamp A with the pen in it. And you're going to need your fine point blade and clamp B. Make sure you have both of those things installed in order to complete your project. Once you do, press the arrows. While we wait for our print job to complete, I just want to go over some other things that I've used my Cricut to you do in the past and I'll add them right here so you can check those videos out. One thing that I do is I create heat press on t-shirts. I use my Cricut Explore 2 in order to cut the vinyl and then I use all the way over there I have a heat press and I'm able to make shirts of all types. Also, I'm able to use my Cricut to make 
cups for special occasions, to make mugs, or I'm saying make, I mean personalize, to personalize cups, to personalize mugs, and I'm even going to start personalizing hats. So here are some of my videos from before that you can feel free to check out after this one, and I can't wait to show you how this project turns out today. It's perfect! Okay, so the project is complete. Alright, so I'm going to gently peel them off. And I saw in another video that they pull the mat back instead of pulling the paper. And once I do that, ooh, chop, I can go ahead and... Ooh, maybe I should do regular card stuff next time. Pull them out. And then you get a little cute heart, and then you push the circle in the middle out. Boom. And you have a business tag. On my, on my products, I like to use ribbon to tie my business, um, to tie my tags on. So on my product, I like to use ribbon to tie it through. Right now, I'm going for more of a parchment-y type of look so it looks like this and I tie it around the shirt the cup or whatever I make and I make a nice little pretty bow in the front I can insert some pictures of that as well but yes this is how I make my business tag so I am about to make like a hundred more of these but I won't bore you with the details thank you so much for watching and as I always say we all have room to grow so comment down below with any feedback if you have some tips or if you like what you see thank you so much and have a good one Mwah.